Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy, a very special episode. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you in the U.S. Today is Thursday, November something, and it's Thanksgiving Day. We had an early dinner. We always have our holiday meals early at uh, around 3 o'clock. So we've been playing some games and hanging out. Tell me if you have finished dinner or if you're watching this after Thanksgiving. What time do you eat Thanksgiving dinner? Do you eat early? Do you eat late? Um... I'm here at mom's house in Michigan and she's hanging out right beside me. Say hi mom. Hi everybody. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Mom was going to stamp with me but she's feeling kind of tired because she's <laughs> been on her feet cooking and so um she's just gonna just keep me company. All your glues are so they're sticky. They're sticky, sticky. She literally has like more stamp and seals than I think I've ever seen in one sitting, except maybe at a Stampin' Up event. And guys, this is not even all of them. These are just <laughs> all of the ones within reach. <laughs> <laughs> I piled them because I want to try to get the glue off. Of it. Well, I love it. Mom actually hosts a lot of in-person events, and so she provides adhesive for her customers. Yes, I do because she's so amazing. I make my customers bring their own adhesive, <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't have um, ten thousand snails. <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't either. Those are seals. Seals, <laughs> snail seals. I think it's so crazy that they're so close in name. And you know her favorite is green cap glue. And I don't know. It's like she has maybe as many green cap glues as she does <laughs> stamp and seals. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you guys. We are doing a special episode tonight. We're doing a, a mini stamp a stack class. So I hope that you're ready to stamp with me. Whether you're watching replay or stamping along live with me, here's what you're going to need to stamp along. Of course, your favorite stamp set and some ink pads. You're going to need two pieces of designer paper. I brought in a third one because I'm going to cut out some of the images to use on my cards. If you want to die cut images or stamp images, you can do that. But actually, you don't even need to add coordinating images. I'm going to show you how cute that can look without adding the coordinating images. You're also going to need some cardstock. So you're going to want two solid colors for your card bases and then two pieces of white cardstock or coordinating neutral cardstock, perhaps vanilla if that's your favorite, plus some punches or some tags. So I have some pre-punched here. I used the Everyday Label Punch, one of my favorites um, for punches, just a, a, virtu a versatile shape. Um, oh my goodness, Marcy says she'll be eating dinner in about 15 minutes, <laughs> so she's going to watch the replay. She's in Washington, so a couple hours behind us, actually, so we're in Michigan, so Marcy, you're three hours behind us, so um, yeah, it is dinner time there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Jean, thank you so much for sharing. I'm so excited to stand with you, and I know many of you are home alone again this year, maybe not getting together with family and friends. And so I wanted to still get on and share cards with you today. And I love that mom can be here with me. So um, let's jump in and get started. Um, we are going to also need our paper trimmer. So I'm going to grab that. Um, and let's start with just our basic cutting and, and make our card bases. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to sit down, mom. Do you well, I'm just thinking maybe you could watch the comments for me if you sure. go to um, Facebook and um, and check it out. Make sure you put it on mute so we don't hear ourselves twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with our two sheets of cardstock, and we're making four card bases. So I always like to score my cardstock first, and so I'm lining it up at four and a quarter and scoring at four and a quarter. That's the lighter blade on the paper trimmer. And then I turn it, and I do the long side at the top at five and a half, and cut in half. So nothing fancy here. This is going to be just regular card fronts. I'm using Old Olive um, because that's what goes with the, um, with the designer paper I chose. And tonight I'm stamping with the Gingerbread and Peppermint designer paper, which is one of my favorite papers in the um, in the July through December mini catalog. I thought I brought some samples, but I don't think I did. So let me just show oh, you I'm here sorry. in the catalog. No, that's okay. Um, you're gonna find it here 
in the July through December mini catalog on page eight, and then of course nine, let me open this up so you can see. Um, and did you guys, well, you know, this July through December catalog is ending soon because as the name implies, it goes through the end of December. Um, the actual date is January 3rd, I think. January 3rd. Yeah. Yes, January 3rd. Um, and so this catalog is coming to an end. So Stampin' Up! has announced um, a last chance list. So last chance are the products that are going to be discontinued. And I have an easy to read version that I put together where um, I took out the French products and I condensed it so that it prints um, in bigger font on the on the page. I also highlighted the items that are on sale. So in the video description, when we're all done, I'm going to add the links to um, two lists. This is the last chance list, which shows you all of the products that are retiring. And then also the ones that are highlighted in yellow, I've created a second flyer that shows you the photos of those products. So I actually left two products off the list because it it was going to be two pictures over onto the next page. <laughs> so the things that aren't pictured are the pool party ribbon, the striped pool party ribbon. And what was the other thing I took off? Um, the jolly felt. Those are the two things that are not pictured on the sale flyer that are still on sale. You'll still find them here. Oh, mom's handing me the pool party striped ribbon. So this one's on sale. And I think one of the reasons I left it off because I was trying to make this the, the single page, but also because it was like a 10% discount. Um, so it's normally $7 and it's going to be on sale for $6.30. So I thought, you know, it was okay. I wanted to focus on the things that were a bigger discount because the big thing that is on sale um, is a lot of these dyes. We've got 50% off the stocking dyes, 50% off the beautiful leaf dyes, 50% off the Wiseman Tidying, the Christmas Cheer, the Cloche dyes, the Polar Bear dyes, the Knit Sweater dyes. So amazing deals. All of these last chance deals start on December 1st. So we still have some time um, for you to plan your list. These sales aren't until December 1st, um, but you can get everything in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. And the last chance products are going to be wall supplies last. So if you've been eyeing some things like the gingerbread and peppermint suite, it's on the retiring list. You want to make sure to get all of your favorites before they go away because after January 3rd, um, most of these things aren't going to be available again. And if they are, then it's, we don't know. We, we don't, don't know, know when. Nope. Um, all right. Are you seeing comments? Okay, mom. Lots of happy Thanksgiving. So oh, we so appreciate it. Yes. We've had a wonderful day with family and we actually yeah. didn't have turkey today. No, we didn't. <laughs> I think this is the first time in maybe my life that I've not had yeah. turkey for Thanksgiving, but we sort of figured out that None of us really like turkey. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much. And so, yeah, I love that you were like, um, no, we're doing chicken and beef. And uh, and I told the kids, like, well, they were like, well, what's for dinner? And I said chicken. And they were like, yeah, they were so excited. <laughs> so um, did you guys have turkey tonight? <laughs> For Thanksgiving, it, it did feel weird not to have turkey, but I... I kind of, I made stuffing. Oh, I enjoyed everything else. That's what, that's what I was going to say. Like, even though we had chicken, like, we still had everything else that you normally have for Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. And it was very good. Yeah. Very good. I am very full. <laughs> okay, so gingerbread and peppermint. It's a six by six paper pack, which means that you get lots of different oh. patterns in the paper pack. Uh-oh. No, Christina said she had to work a day shift. Oh. And she's been up since 3.45. Oh, my goodness, and tomorrow Christina. Tomorrow she goes back to night church. So oh. Oh, well, someone got a rotisserie chicken from Target. Yeah, <laughs> yes. see, chicken. We're going to start a new Thanksgiving tradition. I think so. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the gingerbread and peppermint designer paper, but the cards that we're going to make tonight, you can use any designer paper. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It doesn't have to be gingerbread and peppermint. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut that designer paper. So on these cards, one of them um, is probably more of a busy pattern, and one of them is more of a background pattern. And so the one that you want to be your background pattern is going to be the one that we're going to cut first. And so this one we're going to cut in strips to go across the card front. So we're going to cut the first cut we're going to do is five and a half. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, someone had deep fried halibut with fries, coleslaw, beef brisket. Oh, that does that sound nasty. yummy. <laughs> Um, okay, so I, I, <laughs> this is going to be hard to like pay attention I know, and I read, talk. I'm reading everybody's <laughs> Okay, so five and a half inches is where we're cutting it first. And then we're going to turn it and we're going to cut this into four strips. So we're, the first cut is going to be one and a half and then one and a half. And then guess what? one and a half. <laughs> I love this pattern and we've done this before. So if you've stamped with me before, this might seem familiar, but I just really love this, uh, this card layout and this mini stamp a stack. And so I thought it would be fun to do this. Even I always do that. I always come back to card layouts and I do them over and over again because it's different every single time. It's different with different paper and different stamps. All right. Now the other pattern is going to be, um, we're going to cut this one into three by three squares. So we're going to slide this over and cut at three inches and then take both of those pieces and cut at three inches. Okay, so what we have is four three by three pieces. I love these measurements because they cut so evenly from a six by six piece of paper. So we've got four skinny ones that are one and a half by five and a half. And we have four squares that are three inches by three inches. Now we do need a little bit of white and so that's where we're going to cut these white layers now. Uh, the first thing, I always like to put a layer inside. So this is going to be for the inside, we're gonna do four inches and then we're gonna turn it and we're going to cut at five and a quarter. Okay, so you've done this before for your card layers. You're gonna get four from a piece of cardstock. These are four inches by five and a quarter and one sheet makes four cards. So I love doing my cards in multiples. And this is a really easy layout because once you start cutting the pieces, you have like four evenly, four of this and four of that. And so it just makes sense to do four cards. Now the next piece we're gonna use layers for our designer paper. So the does designer paper squares were three inches by three inches. So these are going to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm going to cut at three and a quarter and then turn and cut at three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter. You can get three and then we're gonna need to cut one more piece that is also three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So we've got Christina wants to know what the white squares. is. Wait, what is the white? So the measurements probably, I think. Um, okay, so the larger white is for the inside. I should have had post-it notes. This one is four inches by five and a quarter. And the smaller one is to go behind the designer paper and that is three and one quarter inch by three and one quarter. Let me grab a post-it note here. Okay, so our designer paper, the first one was one and a half by five and a half. DSP. The second DSP was three inches by three inches. And I'll put all the measurements in the video when we're done as well. Now the first design or the first white is four by five and a quarter. And the second was three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Lots of likes for that. For yes. Measurements. I'm sorry guys. I was too busy eating and playing games. <laughs> <laughs> I threw some cardstock in my bag before we um, came yesterday and was like, this will work. I'm going to do this. So I, <laughs> so sorry, I wasn't more prepared today. Okay, so we've got our, our cardstock pieces. And um, I think we're ready to start stamping. Are you guys ready to start stamping at home? Or am I going too fast again? I always, I always have a hard time trying not to go too fast. You know, while, while you guys are getting caught up, I'm going to take um, some scissors and fussy cut some of these images to use on my cards. Now, there are dies that coordinate with this, um, with this paper that would cut out the snowflake and the ornament. And as I'm going around all these edges of the snowflake, <laughs> thinking maybe I will get the, oh, maybe I'll get those dies out. Uh, 
Um, there are a few images in the paper that the dyes do not work with. Um, like there's not a dye for the tree and there's also not a dye for the mitten in the designer paper, but the um, snowflake and the ornament and the bell and um, the candies. There's a fourth dye, isn't there? there? It cuts the stamped images, the ornament, the bell, the snowflake. Isn't there another one? The, I think the dies are right next to you, Mom, underneath the green cardstock. Oh. Oh. No, I've tried to drop my phone. The star. A star, that's right. So there are some star cookies. Okay, so the gingerbread and peppermint, like these are all supposed to be gingerbread cookies. Oh. Carmen said the star. Thank you, Carmen. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you want me to help you cut them out? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I should just get over and die cut a few. Oh, I could die cut for you. Um, do you mind? No. Yeah. I'm your Sue Stamper today. Yes, mom's my Sue Stamper. I love being here and I love when you're near me. Now, someone was asking on the Sunday stamping video, because if you watch Thursday Night Stamp Therapy, maybe you don't know, but mom and I do a video series every Sunday. Um, at noon central time called Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie and we stamp together on Zoom and share projects using the same products and um, someone was just leaving a comment on a recent video and said how far apart are you guys and um, in good traffic it takes about six hours for us to travel from one house to the other so um, close enough that we can travel by car yep but not close enough that we can make an easy oh Tracy an easy weekend trip <laughs> Tracy writes that's what moms are for yes oh <laughs> and Christina what do you want cut out um all of them all of them <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, but with the dyes it should be easy so oh, sure, sure, there, sure. yeah there's uh snowflakes and ornaments Christina also has a question how do you clean your blocks how do I clean my blocks like the clear blocks I guess that's what she means. Um, honestly, I don't usually clean them very much at home. I, I don't find that I have, like, you have a lot of adhesive residue, it seems like, on yes, here. Yes, I do. Um, and so, I don't know, Mom, what do you use to clean your blocks? I just you take them into the little bathroom here, and I just say soap I'm and doing water. the dishes. And you I... <laughs> You're doing the dishes. Uh, I wash them in soap and water. I love that. So mom says soap and water. Um, I don't usually clean mine, but I would probably say soap and water. The one thing you want to be careful is not to use anything too abrasive because <laughs> then you're going to um, scratch up your block and then it'll be cloudy and you won't be able to see through it. So don't use anything too abrasive. Um, something nice and gentle. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. All right, I've got some stamps already on my blocks for my greeting. So let's do some stamping right now while mom's die cutting. And you can do some stamping as well at home. We are going to stamp on the tags and the inside pieces for the card. So I'm going to set the other stuff to the side for right now. And I'm using the gingerbread and peppermint, I'm sorry, the frosted gingerbread stamp set with coordinating colors, real red and old olive. And I'm going to do the tags first. So for the tag, I'm going to do the smaller greeting, which says, sending you peppermint kisses. Oh, love that. This is a really versatile tag shape, the Everyday Label Punch. I find that I use it a lot. And this layout especially, it really works well for the everyday label punch. In fact, I'm going to stamp some extra tags for mom. I cut some cardstock for her and she's thinking she's too tired to put them together. <laughs> but she might change her mind. So I'm going to stamp her some tags too. Aww, <laughs> I cut some different paper for mom so that she doesn't need and maybe we'll split it and we'll do two cards each. The, the designer paper I cut for mom is from the same set but I've got the um, these images, and so um, I don't need to layer the other cookie images on um, 
over this, this will do the work and then we'll just have our sentiment on there. So mom and I will split it. We'll do half of half and half and then you guys can see both both cards. Okay, so I'm stamping mom's text too. If you're making this at home, you only need to stamp four unless you're also doing a double batch of cards, just like a double batch of cookies. Okay, so speaking of cookies, we started saying this designer paper is gingerbread cookies. So tell me, what is your favorite kind of Christmas cookie? And B, have you started baking Christmas cookies yet? Or maybe you're just making a plan. I know a lot of you plan ahead and get together every year to make cookies with your family. Um, now, my cards are all going to be horizontal, but it just dawned on me that it's possible you may turn this layout and make a vertical card. And that totally would work. But I'm going to do my cards vertical tonight. Horizontal. <laughs> Landscape. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Uh, I, I should have mentioned that when I did the supply list, but uh, it'll work the other way too. So if your paper design is cut in a way that you feel like you need to have it be the other way, it absolutely can. Now, if you're also using the same stamp set and designer paper as me, I'm going to do, in addition to greetings, I'm also going to do a border at the bottom. Actually, but before I do that, I need to do mom's greetings. So back up. Hold on. Rewind. Okay, I gotta get the comments over here because there we go. Ah, Renice says she uses alcohol wipes to clean her blocks and they work wonderfully. That is a really great tip. I love that because then it also dries quickly. Jenny's making homemade Santa Claus cookies. I love Jenny's cookies. She shared some cookies with my family once and they really enjoyed them. Thank you, Jenny, for that. It was a couple years ago when we were still getting together in person for our, our Christmas party. Um, and many of you are planning, planning your cookies as well. Chocolate chip and peanut butter blossom cookies are definitely cookies we always make every Christmas too. Melissa says, snickerdoodle cookies two weeks from now. I love snickerdoodles. Oh my gosh, you don't like snickerdoodles, do you, Mom? Not so much. I Other love bars. Snickerdoodles fresh from the oven. Are magic amazing. cookie bars. Oh yeah, mom makes magic cookie bars every year for Christmas. Those are definitely a favorite. Um, what else do we make? Gosh. Well, give us a thumbs up or a heart if you like cookies. <laughs> <laughs> no frowny faces if you don't, but uh <laughs> If you like cookies or if you like stamping with cookies, <laughs> yes, I'm seeing tons of hearts. I love cookies. And not that it's my favorite part of Christmas because it's not, but it is definitely something that I love about Christmas. One of the many things I love about Christmas. <laughs> Pecan meltaways. Ooh, that sounds really good, Tony. Uh, and fudge. Yes. I haven't made fudge in a really long time. I, I've never made it. I had a really easy never fail fudge recipe from a coworker from my first, like one of my first jobs as a married adult. And um, I used to make it all the time and I haven't for a long time. Joanne says lemon sugar cookies. That sounds really good. <laughs> um, oh, and Nancy says she makes an awesome chocolate pretzel cookie. Ooh. That sounds good. I love, like, sweet and salty. Uh, you make a great cherry. Cherry Winks. Oh, cherry Winks. yes. One of Jim's uh, dad's favorite cookies was the Cherry Wink um, with the cornflake and the... Oh, um... <laughs> Julie, we missed... Oh, I really did a bad job. Oh, that's okay. Uh, the, the one we miss? is the Christmas wreath. Oh, yes, of course. The Christmas wreath. That is... Oh. I, I'm seeing the, <laughs> a lot of the desk <laughs> is on this camera tonight. Did I bump my phone? Let me just... Is that... You want me to take the phone back here and watch for kind I'm wondering if I bumped my camera phone. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there you go, Mom. Thank you. Um, oh, cookies. Ooh. I know, right? 
Oatmeal chocolate chip. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I, how could we even want to look at all this after we just ate it? <laughs> <laughs> I know we should be talking about pie because Spritz cookies. Pie is what um, what we have for Thanksgiving. Although we're, st I guess we're stamping with cookies. That's why we're talking about cookies. This is true. Your eye looks really pink. Does it? Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. I was doing double duty there, so hopefully at home you're all done with your stamping as well. I stamped up. I'm being really careful here with your sleeve. Oh no! You got, you got your ink. sleeve. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm done with these stamps. If you oh, want to either shove them out of the way or give them a I'll quick wipe. Quick clean. Okay, so I you're stamped. You're making me motion sick, Julie. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry because I was moving the camera. Okay, we'll so stop, we'll stop. I've stamped two sets. Um, one for mom and one for me. And so at home, you're just stamping four. Um, so you should have your four tags and your four insides. And, um, I, we're ready to like assemble cards already. That was fast, but here we go. Um, all right, let me put this aside. Okay, mom, here is, here's yours. I got to take some of this okay. back. Okay. So, um, gonna make me do this aren't you i am <laughs> um i'm gonna do all the same since we're doing all the same and then you can do yours all the same mom and then um we'll just show your finished cards sure. okay i think i have your card bases in in my pile too okay so we've got four card bases and um our designer papers i'm making mom stamp <laughs> <laughs> she was Am like, I stamping I'm, or assembly? I'm too tired. Well, no, I did the stamping. You're right. Thank You're you. just assembly. <laughs> but I just was using stamping as a general term for crafting. Okay. <laughs> okay. So next up, we're going to take these um, three by three squares and we're going to put them on the white squares. So we're going to layer those. Let me get my favorite out. Like that. So you're going to do that four times with your adhesive of choice. Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> Mom is using her liquid glue and I am using my. Oh, I had to look at it. Stamping seal. <laughs> what is your favorite adhesive at home? Are you guys uh, a tape runner kind of stamper or do you like the liquid glue too? I do think it's funny that, like, it's. You're usually one way or the other. <laughs> yeah. A lot of my customers are converting to. Are you are purpose. you converting them? Well, I have I keep all the adhesives out. They and they just see me stamping and mm, using. You give them lots of the options. The liquid, so yeah, I do I give them that. lots of options. Woo! I do, and some of them, you know, are like, oh, that is easy, and so then they order two or three of them to have in my hand. Upsell, upsell. <laughs> Oh, Lori likes liquid glue. Jennifer says tape runner for sure. Uh, I think it was Christina that said the old snail. Barb says oh, she's yeah. a seal kind of girl, but she does use her Tombow quite a bit too. Kathy likes the Tombow. Um, April says Or your truffle some for cookies. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I still read cookies. <laughs> oh, God. Janice is letting us know about our favorite cookies. Those do sound good. Those, Joanne says uh, liquid glue. Melissa says tape, tape runner. Sharon says both. Yeah, I mean, I, I I really do use a lot of different adhesives, glue dots, and Stampin' Dimensionals, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, I um, love tear and tape. Love, yep, love, love, love. Tear love, and love. tape. Okay. Um, next up is the long strip of designer paper. So this is going to go uh, across the bottom of our card. And I'm going to go about um, an inch or so from the bottom. Um, so let me show you. I'll glue the first one on. Ooh, so I'm going to go which about. One do, I want? do I want this one? Like an inch or so. So it's. No, I want this one. Okay. I think that's how I want it. Because then I I'm going to have the square like shape. this. And so I want the square. I might even go a little higher. Because I want the square to be. <laughs> Jenny, I know the crooked drives you crazy, but I like it. <laughs> I'm going to go a little higher, actually. Let's just tear that off. Now, I say tear it off, but I hadn't actually really pushed it down firmly yet, so it wasn't it wasn't a complete tear off. Um, and 
So this is like just lower than halfway, I'm gonna say. Just lower than halfway. Let's see what that looks like. Not fond of the new adhesive. You changed the question while I was typing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> lot of stamp and dimensional. Yes. I'm sorry, Janice. It's really late, but definitely we'll watch you play. So happy to see you lovely ladies. Aw, you're I, so sweet. I do like the old one, too. Yeah, the, um, I do, too. See, Mom's got contraband on her. I do. <laughs> on her desk, too, I Snail. Do, I do. Um, almost out. I know, I am too. I have just a couple of refills. Yep. No, maybe I used all my refills. I think I have a couple of refills. I might. They better I be there when you leave. <laughs> I was just going to say, I might, I might do a treasure hunt for your refills, Mom. <laughs> okay, so we're doing a little bit lower than halfway on this strip across. And that will just give us some breathing room for the square. That's going to go. I'm just putting it down. We'll see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Are you guys doing some crafting this weekend? Like now that the big meal is out of the way, or maybe I know sometimes um, you may be getting together with different parts of the family. So maybe you're having Thanksgiving today and Thanksgiving tomorrow or Thanksgiving on Saturday, or are you all done? Like, have you had your meals and now it's time to stamp and shop perhaps? Do some Black Friday shopping. I've never been a fan of Black Friday shopping. You know, I when I was younger, I just I don't like lines. I don't like lots don't of either. crowds yeah, and people. So done and done. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'm, go on my computer. I'm not I'll stay home and not stay. into that. Okay, last right. one. Being a slow poke, I guess. Mom's Mom's got hers all whipped out. Well, I did. Yeah, I was fussing I'm put my with my. In. Oh, that's good. We'll do the insides next. Just I didn't even check to see if they were crooked so <laughs> it'll be you didn't check to see what if, if, by if they're crooked I oh okay. <laughs> i think they're okay you're the icing on my gingerbread i just love that thing i don't know if i will be creating cards or not for our swaps still up in the air jenny miller oh joanne <laughs> Boy, are you ahead of the game. You're wrapping gifts this weekend. Oh, my Holy gosh. Cow. Good for <laughs> oh, you. You have to shop before you can wrap gifts, and uh, I am not I do my shopping anywhere. Cyber Monday, Carmen. Oh, yeah. That is smart. Well, I have a little Black Friday thing that I threw together. And I'm going to probably guys. steal it. For <laughs> you won't be able to be, <laughs> because, oh. because part of this this thing that I'm doing, I'm going to show you guys in a minute. I, I only have 10 available. Oh, <laughs> I'm you're right. <laughs> I'm cleaning out my, um, I'm cleaning out my, um, my stamp stuff because we're having everybody to our house for Christmas, which means that I need to get rid of all my boxes of stamp uh. stuff that are covering <laughs> one of the beds in the basement. And so, um, yeah, yeah. when I went down there, like I had a whole box of these kits, these Christmas tag kits, like an old paper pumpkin. And I was going to have a class with them. And then, um, I, I didn't have a class with them. <laughs> and so I've got all this stuff. Let me pause really quick. I'm going to put my stuff to the side. Let me show you what I've got. So I've got 10 of these little bundles. I'm going to call them the Christmas tag bundle. This is an exclusive Black Friday special from Julie Davison. That's me. I'll be posting a link on my blog tomorrow morning. It will publish at 8 a.m. Central Time, and the link will have have the button so you can buy it now. This will be shipped to you on um, on Monday when we get home. Um, and so let me show you what's inside of the box. All the boxes will be exactly the same. Um, and so it's not really a mystery grab bag, and I'm showing you what's in it. I still haven't figured out the price, so you're gonna have to check um, check tomorrow <laughs> for the button. Uh, so this is a refill paper pumpkin kit from a couple years ago. So this is a Christmas tag kit. Come on, get out of here. Um, so it oh, is, I, I know, right? It was one of my favorite. I wow. love these tags. So this refill kit does not include stamps or ink, but it does have all the pre-cut pieces to make these tags. Okay, so you're going to get the refill kit. 
of the winter gifts. Let's see, that's from November 2019. So I bought them um, and I was thinking, oh, I'll have a class like next year. And I hung on to them and then the COVID. And yep. so I yep. didn't have a Christmas tag class. Okay, so you're going to get that plus gold sequin trim, gold clips, and gold striped gift bags. These are all retired things. And I had 10 of everything because I was going to do this class and I yep. never did it. And now it's just sitting in my basement. So all of these plus a mystery stamp set. Ooh, the only nice. thing I will tell you about the mystery stamp set is that it is current. It will be something that is from the current catalog. And um, I'm going to include that in the box as well. So you'll get a mystery stamp set plus everything else. And I, I should have figured out the price, but I don't know. So check it out. I only have 10 of these bundles available and I'll have the link on my blog tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, on Friday, whatever tomorrow is, November, <laughs> November, um, November, whatever. So you're just gonna help me purge. It's my Black Friday special. Um, and so when they're sold out, they're sold out. And um, yeah, if you're interested, I would love to give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up. Do you? Oh boy. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that we'll looks like more hearts. than 10 hearts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it'll... <laughs> It'll be uh, oh, and even more. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be like a a, a different kind of Black Friday scramble. Nancy Clark writes, "My best Black Friday purchase was twenty five years ago. I got a little Tykes Playhouse, one hundred and eighty nine dollar price for forty nine dollars. Oh my gosh! Sale coupons Whoa. and mail and rebate score. That's amazing." <laughs> Jenny Miller says, "If I buy the kit, can I just swing by and pick it up?" Yeah. Um, so Jenny, in that case, you're going to definitely want to use the buy now button that I'm going to have on my blog because you will not be able, I, I cannot save one for you. So, um, you'll have to pay the shipping with the buy now button, but I'll just pay you back for the shipping. Um, and you can pick up in person. Um, but definitely make sure to use the button because once they're all sold out, that's it. They're all sold that's out. All right. There won't be any more. All right, let's get back to making our cards. I'm gonna flip over these squares and put some adhesive on them. I'm just gonna use regular adhesive because we're gonna use dimensionals underneath our um, tag and under our, um, our stamped image. So um, on the square here, you can go straight like that if you want. You could go a little crooked. I like to go crooked. I know that drives you, <laughs> I know that drives you crazy, Jenny, but I like to go crooked because then if it's not totally um, straight, like it's okay. You know, like it it's already crooked. So hmm. if if you try to put it straight and then it's not totally straight, then it looks off. But when it's off, then like, you know, you can't go wrong. Which way crooked? Do? I'm gonna do some crooked, some straight. Okay. I'm gonna do all of mine crooked. <laughs> Okay, we are like going to crooked. use, so yeah, all right, maybe I did that too fast. I beat mom on that one. Um, <laughs> so next up, we're going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of the tags, and mom's got a whole basket, and I keep pulling little guys. Little guys, yes, I do that at home too. I'm always, this must be the little guy basket. Oh, there's one. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do two on the back of each tag. For our stamp a stack. Oh. Oops, you only want it this way. Okay, so I have some die cut images. Thank you, mom. <laughs> um, so I am going to arrange some of my die cut images like that and then add my stamped tag. You might not have die cut images. You might just add your tag and that's fine too. Let me show you. Oh, I was actually gonna use a different side. Um, uh oh, did I use No, no, no. So mom used this side. The other side had more of that. Um, I don't have another sheet of it. It had more of like the cookie design on it. And uh, so oh, yeah. I was just going to add like, like the tag and keep it simple. Yeah. Um, but you still could add the tag I was gonna and say, keep it I'm simple. I was good with just adding that. Um, so whether you add some images or you don't add some images, that is totally up to you. So now we're just mm. going to layer. 
Um, I made some with this design before, and there's some really cute paper. I think I used the whales before when I, I made these I cards. I have these die cut out already. Let me go look in my stash. <laughs> Aw, Jenny. She says your mom, Susan, is awesome. Thank she you. She is awesome. I'm actually wearing a crown today. <laughs> she is wearing a crown. So my son Tom has brought two crowns down. That is really crooked. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Um, <laughs> I'm going to redo that one. Um, so Tom has brought down two crowns for mom to choose which one. And so she chose, I don't know if it was the bigger one or the small. I think actually it was the smaller of the two. And so Thomas, who is like six foot two <laughs> uh, with with bright red hair said um okay i'm gonna wear the other one and then he stuck it on his head and walked away <laughs> yeah, and he wore it for a couple hours. oh my gosh he did wear it for quite a while and then he passed it around so all the kids took a turn um with the <laughs> with the other crown and they got to be prince or princess <laughs> for an hour it was cute it was did you, did you find some? Do you have some cut? I don't know if I have any cut, but I have some. Um, I don't think I have any cut, but I'm just going to cut some real quick. Or at least one. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. I should just give you some of mine. Well, if you're going to use them, no. You can use them and show. That's the beauty of this stamp set. I know, I love that there's so many different images oh in this paper. Gosh. And isn't this card so cute? Yep, it really is. I do love this layout. Do you know, I, the red on the red is maybe a little too much. Well, what, if you're not gonna use something, pass it your way, but here's a bell that I cut out if you want this. Oh yeah, so my my background designer paper is red, so this red ornament is it's too much red. But it looks good on yours. Oh, cool. Thanks for trading. Okay. Sure. Um, that is perfect. So I am strategically, I have some of these shapes that are white, and I'm strategically putting them farther away from the, um, the tag just to sort of, like, break up that white. Can't go wrong with old olive. I love these cards. Yes, I know. I love them too. And I love how quick they are. With this designer paper pack, you could make a whole bunch more of these cards really quickly yeah. and easily and have your cards done in no time at all. And this designer paper and the stamp sets and dies are all retiring. Which, I mean, it's inevitable, right? Like, they always they always retire. But um, if you're a big fan of them, then you're going to you're going to want to you're going to want to get it before it goes away. Um, I don't even know if I like that. You don't know if you like that? Is it because they're two ornaments? Probably. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to restamp my tag because I it was crooked and I chucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. All right. I'm almost done. Mom's cutting out some of her image, but that's okay because I have some other card samples I want to show you using the gingerbread and peppermint designer paper. Um, and there are some, like, you could also embellish your cards as another option. I... I think I'm going to leave mine. I kind of like them a little bit flatter. The embellishment that we have in the mini catalog that goes with the gingerbread and peppermint paper is the gingerbread and peppermint acrylic shapes. So we have these um, shapes and they're kind of like really, they're hard and they're thick, not very machinable. <laughs> um, and so I think I'm going to leave them off my cards, but you could add them too if you want. And actually, here's a card I did earlier. I'm going to take it out and show you. I added some of those acrylic shapes to the center. The, on this card, I used stamped images, the snowflake and the ornament, and then die cut them. And um, oh, 
I just realized I cute. used a different sentiment. I like that sentiment better from the stamp set. <laughs> wishing, oh. wishing you a Merry Christmas. I used sending you peppermint kisses. Um, I, I wish I had used that one. Oh, well. Yeah. They're still cute. <laughs> um, I don't think it matters what sentiment's on there, really. Yeah. <clears throat> so wishing or sending you peppermint kisses and then you're the icing to my gingerbread. Well, I think it just doesn't make sense because there's no peppermints. So I might have to go back and add some peppermints. This designer paper, a lot of them have these peppermints. Like, you want me to dice them? Up um, cut sort of worked in here. No, I'll just add them. Like, I'll, I'll cut some out and add some to my cards later. It's fine. I think I am all done. And um, did you have one done, Mom? I can bring in here. Well, it's not put together, but go ahead and show it. Okay. It, it, everything's not glued down, so it's shifting a little bit. But oh my gosh, so cute! So here, Mom used the other designer paper from the paper pack. So you, it looks a little bit different, but they're so cute. And here's another one that's actually the opposite. I um, need, Christina Scott says I need the measurements again, please. Christina, they'll be in the the um, description. Yes, I will put the measurements in the video description as well. And you guys, I have a treat for you because it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> I have a free handout with a picture, a complete supply list, and all of the measurements of all the stuff that you're going to need and the instructions. So I'm going to link to this PDF in the video description as soon as I can get upstairs. Um, it's already prepared, so I'll just add that link to the video description as well as a list of the measurements for you if you just want a, a quick look at that. But here you've got the picture in there and you can um, download that and print it and take it to your stamp desk. Oh my gosh, I would love for you to share your cards in Julie's Stamping Spot Share and Connect group right here on Facebook. I'm going to put the link um, in the description to that group as well. So if you're not part of it yet, I would love for you to go over there, share the cards that you made tonight, um, see what everybody else is creating. We just have a lot of fun over there. We do some fun posts. We do a ton of sharing um, and it's just, it's just a fun, a fun group, a really great community. So you're looking for lots of links in the video description. You're going to look for the link to the handout. You're going to look for the link to the last chance lists. Again, the sale here starts December 1st. You can buy any of this in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. And then the last link in the video description is going to be uh, actually, no, there's more. There's, I'm also going to link to a gingerbread and peppermint, a bigger stamp -a stack class that we did last month where we made more cards and different designs using the same paper pack. So I'm going to put that in there as well. And then a link to my blog where tomorrow at 8 a.m. you're going to check out the, the Black Friday special and make sure that you get that gift tag bundle because I only have 10 of those. So I kind of offset this one. Ooh, let me bring this one in here. Yep, it's kind of shifting all bit. Again, that glued. So here's one that's not crooked. It's straight. And Mom's kind of got a different arrangement of her gingerbread cookies. I love that. I just feel like you cannot go wrong with this. I know. You absolutely They're so can. cute. You can't. You've got a lot of um, thanks, ladies. Thanks, Julie and Susan. I already have all my Christmas done. So I did baby shower cards. Oh, oh. my gosh. Trying to fill my stash. Thank you, Susan and Julie. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Julie. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you both for sharing your time home and Thanksgiving. Oh, it was our pleasure. Christina said you rock. Kathy, thank you. Cute cards. Oh, I'm so glad you guys. And the card stack <laughs> to the right would be great and make it pop. Yes, 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 yes. Right, uh, right there. Here. I think that's Love right. it with the tree. Thank you, April. So enjoy all you do. Happy Thanksgiving to you both. Oh, uh, well, I have a few more cards before we say goodbye. Um, I brought some of my cards from my sample box to share with you. And um, I, I, I've shared these over the course of the last few months in the catalog, but just so many different ways that you can use the combination of the designer paper. This one was cased right from the catalog. I used the mask here for the background, a little banner, and then those hand cut trees. Happy holidays. Both of these dies came from the pillow box, the pretty pillow box die set. And then this was a fun fold card that we did in another video. I'll have to link to that in the video description oh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be so many things in the video description when I can get that filled out. Um, and then the last one, I just posted this video 
yesterday. This was one of the bonus projects for October. So this is part of the card kit if you got one of those for October for placing an order. That's a special perk that you um, can get when you order from me. $40 or more in my online store will get you the bonus project kit and a free gift from me as well. So make sure you use the host code when you order. I'll include that in the video description. Um, so if you're ordering from the last chance list, you definitely want to make sure to use the host code so you can get the next November um, project kit. Okay, that is it for us tonight. Um, but we're going to be back on Sunday with another special Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie. So I hope that you'll check that out live on YouTube, um, at noon central time. Uh, and until then, yeah, have a great weekend. Enjoy your shopping, stamping and time with your family and friends. I'm going to do the same. We're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow yes. with some more family coming into town and, uh, we're just... We're just gonna hang. Yeah, just hanging. And stamp. <laughs> and play games. And play games, yes. And eat leftovers. And eat leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, that is it for now. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great night, and we'll see you soon. Bye.